All right, now let's talk about buying and selling of these assets. Where do you buy them from and where do you sell them? So the primary marketplace is definitely Unisat. You can find anything here, I mean, including Audi and stuff like that, but it doesn't have a traditional order book system that you guys might be used on when trading on Binance, for example. Here, it, you cannot decide how much, how many tokens exactly do you want to buy? And the prices are not always the same, except for a token when it has high liquidity like Ori at this point. But at the beginning, when you're trying to buy stuff, you will find that there is a, a huge discrepancy. So let's say I want to buy track token and I'm trying to buy 1,003 tokens. Look, I can't do it because these things are sold as um, bundles on this marketplace until they graduate over onto the exchanges. So I'll give you guys an example of a token called VMPX. Okay. This token, I bought it from this marketplace a few months ago when it was worth very little. And now it's trading at a lot and I'll show you. But basically, if you want to buy, you want to have Bitcoin inside your Unisat wallet. And if you want, let's say I only have $200 to spend to invest in this, I will look around to see which ticket, because at the bottom here, it shows you the Bitcoin amount. And here it's the dollar value of what you're supposed to pay to buy. it. So this guy is selling 400 VMPX tokens for $52. I can perhaps buy this one. This one too, it's the same. This one, and maybe look for another one that's slightly lower as well. Or I can just find one that has a thousand in him and it's selling at 119 and buy it. Now, when you buy this, you can now, and let's say the token has been listed on the traditional exchanges. One of the best exchanges to do this with is get.io. It lists a lot of Audino projects early. So in this case, I bought some sats on Unisat before it got listed. I spent a few thousand dollars on it. And now when it got listed on BitGet, I transferred them over to BitGet and now it's worth $23,000 for the same sats. And this is 27 billion sats that I have in this wallet. The same with VMPX, I spent maybe a thousand dollars on it or so. And now it's up 6,000. And now I'm trading it on BitGet, which means I can trade it just like any other coin, like I'm trading Bitcoin. All right. Um, the same goes for other exchanges like get.io. It's also really, really good. They do list these tokens early. The links to these platforms are in the description below. Make sure you use our links to sign up to get all the bonuses that come with them. So you use the links, you sign up on get and BitGet, and you can essentially sell these tokens. Now, if you want to buy Ordinals that are already existing in the market, like Sats or Audi, you don't have to go through Unisat unless you don't want to be KYC because BitGet and, and uh, any other exchange, they will ask for KYC, but Unisat does not ask for any KYC. It's a decentralized marketplace for Ordinals. So in that case, you can just go to BitGet and look for a Sats chat here, sats, or let me just use get for that. Trade is the same. All right, here I just search for sats, S-A-T-S, -S, sats, U-S-T-T. There we go. And then I can decide what I actually, how much of it I want to buy with the amount of money I have in my wallet. And then that's it. When it comes to NFTs, I kind of briefly went, went over it. If I want to buy a Bitcoin frog, I simply just have to connect my Unisat wallet again. And if I find it, I have to make sure that the collection is the right one. How do I check? I check here. How much volume has been trading this coin? I mean, this NFT. Okay, there's been 0 0.27. Oh, sorry, this is the floor price, the minimum price of the... Uh, the available frog you can buy. 
and then the total volume 802 bitcoins have been traded trading these frogs so this has to be a real collection 4500 owners which means 4500 people approximately are holding um, the bitcoin frogs and if i want to buy i just look at whichever i like and the right price and i just click on buy now and it comes here on my top right and it says not enough funds because i don't have enough funds in my unicet wallet but if i had i would just continue and buy if you want to add to if you want to add them to the to the cart you just click on this uh, plus sign then it creates it adds them all into cart and you can just pay at once and do a bulk buying of them now when it comes to selling these things you just basically list them so you go to inside your wallet okay you go inside your wallet my items and see here i have this token called board an inscription it's unlisted if i want to list it to sell it i simply just click on list now and i decide how much price do i want to demand for it so i can select one bitcoin is what i want to be paid for this one or let's say two bitcoins and then i'll just click on submit listings right and i'll be asked here to sign the transaction and i can sign it if i want to but i don't want to i want to save money on fees because gas fees are too high right now 70 dollars to just um to do anything on bitcoin blockchain so i will not risk that but that's it i rejected it but that's how you buy and sell the same on unisat you also just go inside your items and you can go ahead and list your items i hope this helped you guys and i'll see you in the next video